your phone rings at 3.30 in the morning and you know it can't be good news. 3.30 in the morning? You're totally filled with dread. So right up front guys, I want to tell you first, before I tell you this story, that everything turned out in the end, so don't worry. We have good news at the end, but I want to take this opportunity to once again warn everybody the dangers of hyperglycemia. By the way, if you're new to Sweetie Pie Pets, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Today I have... Ooh, uh. I'm getting over a terrible cold right now, so please forgive the raspy voice. I'm going to try to tell you the story of what happened a couple weeks ago, even though I can barely talk. So you may remember my video about Anna and Maria from a couple weeks ago. They are my two adorable new baby doll chihuahuas that I just picked up from Russia. So I had placed Anna and Maria in affiliate's home, Vanessa, and she was a thrilled new mommy. She couldn't wait to be a foster mommy of these two babies. I could tell right away that it was a very good fit. So me and my husband took them over to Vanessa's house, and we took all their stuff their crate and their habitat and their bed and we got them all set up with everything they could need. We could tell right away that it was going to be a very good fit. Vanessa is a stay-at-home mom and she has a nice big backyard and she lives there with her mom and they also have Yorkies so they're familiar with small dogs. I couldn't be more thrilled to have Vanessa as a foster mommy. So before I left I told Vanessa please don't forget if anything goes wrong at any time I am here give me a call. So first of all let me say that Vanessa did exactly the right thing. I couldn't be more grateful for Vanessa for being so attentive that she actually noticed at 3.30 in the morning that something was wrong. I want to thank you personally, Vanessa. You did exactly what you should do. You gave me a call at 3.30 in the morning. So I sat up in bed and I looked at my phone and I immediately saw who it was and of course my heart sank because uh, I knew that something had to be wrong. So it had just been the day before Vanessa had texted me a video showing me Anna and Maria just having the time of their lives running around in her big backyard, getting to know her Yorkies that she has. I just, it, it just warmed my heart. I, I was so happy. Zeus, stop sneezing. They can't hear me talking. So you guys, please, please keep in mind that hypoglycemia or low blood sugar is a very, very common phenomenon in small dogs. As soon as I talked to Vanessa on the phone, I, she FaceTimed me. I could see immediately that that was exactly what it was. She was actually making a screaming sound, which is not a typical symptom that I have found very often with hypoglycemia, but she was probably trying to cry out for help. It, the thing about hypoglycemia is it comes on so fast with little dogs. So that's why I, you have to be hyper vigilant whenever you get, whenever you have a little puppy, especially when they're young. But it can even happen when they're older because these dogs aren't that young. There are three months old. You have to watch for it continually even beyond puppyhood. And so when she told me that the baby was screaming and kind of tipping over to the side and very stiff and the other symptom that I knew is absolutely hypoglycemia is when their jaw clamps shut. That is their muscles kind of contracting. So we all had to jump into action. Everybody in the household had to get up. We were FaceTiming and I kind of walked her through what to do. Fortunately, I had failed to leave Vanessa with a tube of Nutri-Cal. Shame on me. I hope that you guys can learn from my mistake. I always tell all my buyers to make sure to have Nutri-Cal and I forgot to give Vanessa some. They can get low blood sugar even though they're three months old. So if you have a tea cut, always have Nutri-Cal. By the way, the Tomlin brand, you'd think I work for the company. They like the taste of the Tomlin brand and they do not like the taste of the GNC brand that's sold in pet stores. So you might have to look around for this or buy it online. Since I had forgotten to give her any Nutri-Cal, the next thing I thought of is Carol syrup. And I said, do you have any Carol syrup in the house? She turns and asks her mom, do you have any Carol syrup? And this is all happening like really fast. Like it, in the moment you're really scared and stressed out. But Vanessa and her mom, Stephanie, and her husband, Caesar, all did really great staying calm and doing exactly what I said. So what we did, they did have caro syrup. Caro syrup is basically just sugar. That's all that, that the Nutri-Cal or caro syrup is. If your dog is going to, into hypoglycemia, you just have to get sugar down them so that their blood sugar level can go back up because it's crashing and it is fatal. So you have to monitor your baby all the time and make sure that they're getting enough calories. Since her jaw was clamping shut, I told her, I said, you have to try and get her mouth open. You have to pry it open. She luckily had caro syrup and a syringe. Um, she just mixed caro syrup with some Pedialyte, stuck it in the jaw. You have to pry the jaw open if it's really clamped shut. Then you slowly massage the neck. 
until hopefully they will swallow. And she did. She swallowed eventually. It took a while. Everyone was very scared, but I was so proud of Vanessa and her whole team that was there. They did exactly what they what they should have done. They absolutely saved her life. After she finally swallowed a couple swallows, we just let her rest for about five minutes and then a little bit more and then you let her rest and then a little bit more and slowly they start to come out of it. You can kind of monitor how much sugar you need to give them just by the behavior of the dog. Their sugar will take a while to come back up. Generally the first signs that it's that they're coming back is that they're being a little more responsive. They'll start swallowing more readily without you having to kind of massage. They'll open their eyes more and look around a little bit and then slowly as it's continuing to come up you might have to give them another couple doses. I never did find out exactly how many doses of the carol syrup she had to give her, but she finally got her back up. I think she ended up staying up all night with her. I felt so bad, but in the morning we touched bases. The baby was back to normal. She's a smart lady because what she did then was she started observing what was going on and she discovered that Anna, who was the dominant female, was basically bullying her and not letting, she was kind of hoarding the food. She corrected that right away and they get their own food bowls. So that's a good idea. You know, these are things that you have to watch for with small dogs because if they're not getting enough food, they will go into hypoglycemic shock. Always have NutriCal on hand. Always monitor your baby. I would like to demonstrate how much they like NutriCal and how much I recommend giving your tiny baby at least twice a day when you first bring them home for a couple weeks at least until they get used to their new surroundings. Now, I did get a phone call from a lady a few weeks ago who her dog had some strange neurological looking symptoms and she took him to the vet and the vet wanted to do all these tests on the puppy poking and prodding i said well what's he doing and one of the things was he wasn't walking straight that is one of the first symptoms of low blood sugar so i said please before you go and stress him out with all the poking and the prodding can you just give him some NutriCal and see if he'll come out of it sure enough the next day no more neurological problems so that's kind of another reminder that sometimes even veterinarians like I really wish that they would if they get a little tiny dog that comes in that's stiff the first thing that you should think of is low blood sugar that's usually what it is and you usually can totally prevent all that stress and all that money and you know everything that that puts on everybody so just just give them NutriCal I'm gonna demonstrate how much I recommend giving them it's really sticky and stinky I do a dollop. I mean, it's, you know, I guess pea size. Good girl. Sometimes you have to really encourage them to eat it, but usually they like the taste of it. Did you eat all your NutriCal? So you'll be happy to know that now Anna and Maria are up on their feet and doing great and I get new updates from Vanessa all the time and they fit right in with their lovely little Yorkies and new family. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. I'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets.